Good morning. Um, my name is Steve Eldridge, for those of you who don't recognize me. Uh, I'm the town manager here in Berwick. Um, we try to do this quarterly or somewhere in between to give you an update uh, on what's going on in Berwick from my office. Um, and I uh, hope everybody has gotten through the pandemic and feeling better and getting some fresh air, even though it's been quite warm. Um, we had our election yesterday, referendum questions for the budget, school budget and the town budget. Uh, it all passed, except for one question, which was LD1, um, which kind of limits what we, uh, we have to have a certain number uh, for our budget and increases and things like that, that failed, but we still can meet our uh, LD1 commitment. Uh, finance director and I have been working on that. But I want to thank everybody who turned out to vote. We had a little bit higher numbers than we've had in the past. Um, so I'll, I'll start with some of the things that we'll be doing uh, in the coming uh, fiscal year. We got approval for our road budget, which was very critical. I uh, hope keep moving forward on that. This year, uh, we are going to be focusing on uh, Cranberry Meadow Road, there's a section there that we're going to uh, reclaim and rebuild. Um, it's in pretty rough shape and I, I've received quite a few uh, phone calls. It will go from Cemetery Road to Worcester. Um, and there are two sections on uh, Long Swamp Road that we're going to be doing. Uh, part of it is a reclaim and part of it is a shim and overlay. That's a very highly traveled road. Um, and so we're focusing on that this year. Um, we are going to be putting in a sidewalk uh, uh, from the uh, 71 Sullivan Street parking lot. It will go from there to um, the uh, corner of Sullivan and Wilson Street. Uh, and Public Works will be doing a lot of the work themselves. We have talented people. Um, and then we'll uh, get the base set and they'll have it poured with asphalt when the uh, so we're hoping to do that, plus finish up uh, the pavement of the uh, town office area that we didn't get to last year. Um, and so that will uh, clean that up and make it look and work a lot better. Um, so that's the projects we have lined up. Of course, uh, we have a recreational uh, feasibility study being done. Uh, which is, a, is great. Uh, we're going to have an awful lot of information to provide us uh, with uh, in how we want to take care of our fields and grow the programs and make sure everything is working properly. Um, just to update on the um, prime tanning site uh, or the edge as it's now called, um, the uh, Great Falls Construction did pull their building permit to start working on the only building left on the site, the L building. So we've seen people walking around on the roof and looking, so hopefully they'll start construction there. There's still a waiting period uh, for them to start digging up the soil in sections and they're waiting, it's a DEP uh, permit issue, but uh, that should go within the next six months. So maybe if we get lucky by the fall, uh, we'll see some work over there. Um, we're very excited about that. Um, the old fire station, that, that's going up for sale since we were approved to sell that. Uh, I'll meet with the Board of Selectmen uh, next Tuesday, an off week for us, but we missed Tuesday because of the election, uh, and find out how they would like to market that. I, uh, we're, I'm going to be pushing it for a, a uh, agent to pick it up. And, and so they can handle the sale. But we've had a lot of inquiries, so we're going to talk to those first. Um, we had a uh, uh, market appraisal done, um, so we know the value, which is pretty close to what we have it assessed at. Um, so we're anxious to get that off our, our plate and get somebody in there who would like to put a business or whatever goes in there, but something that works with our downtown Great Falls area. Um, also, um, with a new selectman, uh, I usually do a tour. So if you see two of the selectmen myself walking around, we'll be in uh, to all the departments to get, acquaint them with public works, police and fire, what everybody does here in the town office, transfer station, and uh, things like that. Just give them an insight of what we have for departments and, and what our needs are. Um, water department, uh, 
we uh, got that passed at the town meet at the warrant, uh, which is a good thing. It's one point two million dollars that we have approval to uh, borrow from the main bond bank. It's, it's a program through uh, the uh, federal government, but it's the state program through the drink, main drinking water program. We're just finishing up some uh, loose ends, but we did start to start this past year. Uh, we've uh, appropriated some money in the water budget to have Wright Pierce, which is the engineering company, to start looking at alternative sources of water, um, mostly underground aquifers. Um, they did that uh, in the last fall, and they did some other work during the winter. Um, I'm waiting for their final report, uh, and they have plans to start drilling on some of the sites that they got permission. We had uh, about 15 sites that they looked at that they th thought there would be uh, aquifer uh, quantity and uh, quality that we need. Um, they have now, uh, I haven't seen their report, the geophysical report yet, but once I, I should see that by next week. Uh, and they already have lined up somebody to do the test drills. So once they get some samples out of the water, they'll check on the volume um, and make sure it produces, we have to have 300 gallons a minute which is pretty high, uh, but the, some of our aquifers that are uh, in the uh, Hubbard Road, Rochester Street area uh, have a very large, and even during the droughts, they seem to hold water. Uh, so we're pushing hard, and hopefully that will work for us. If not, maybe we can do a combination. We'll call in their recommendations. Um, we have asked for more money. Uh, the federal government, as everybody probably knows, has been talking about um, earmarks. Um, that haven't been approved out of the, um, the uh, Congress yet. Uh, and recently I heard that President Biden was walking away, but there are still people within both the Senate and the House that are hoping to put something together that everybody can agree with. Uh, we actually submitted uh, our projects to Senator Collins' office. Um, to what we were hoping to get, the water is my biggest priority. It's, it's, it's a necessity that we have good quality water. So we have asked for 2.8 million to supplement us with a 1.2, which equal, equals about 4 million, which is what um, the engineers are telling us we need to revamp the whole system, depending upon what we need. Um, so the other projects that we put in for, for these earmarks were our bridges, the uh, Diamond Hill Bridge and the Ridland Road Bridge. Uh, the engineers, we did fund the design work uh, through, um, uh, which was about $44,000. They did, they finished up Diamond Hill and, they, and they're starting to work on the Ridland Road design. Um, we, and we're just waiting for the funding. The estimated costs uh, for each bridge is around $700,000. Uh, Diamond Hill is the one I, is my biggest priority because the weight, uh, restriction has been dropped down to five ton, where Ridland Road is 23 ton, but they're both in pretty tough shape. And these are state inspected. I, I get a report every year. MDOT uh, is stressing that we need to do something with the Diamond Hill Bridge, um, and that's what we're focusing on, uh, and uh, hopefully we'll get some funding for that. Their state program, it's a 50-50 match. So we'd have to come up with 350,000, um, which is quite a bit of money. And, and hopefully the state would fund the other 350. But uh, over the last four years, I've been looking at their programs and there's no funding in the pot for, uh, for our bridges. So uh, we've, we have put that off. So we uh, will continue to focus on that. Um, Otherwise, I welcome a new selectman uh, to join the team, board of selectmen, and we'll continue to push hard for our projects and, and make sure you get the services that you would like. Um, we've got a great uh, team of uh, uh, department heads working hard uh, with Jody Giggin as our new public works person and, and uh, Angela O'Connor, who's lit the fire onto everybody about what's going on in the recreation department. We're all very excited. She has a lot of energy. And I hope you all look forward to what's going on. She's told me today she's filled her summer program of 80, ch 80 children, uh, which is very exciting to hear. Uh, we're the, probably the biggest program in the region, she said, 
because of the pandemic, but she has done pandemic camps before and knows all the protocol. So we're very excited for the children to have a place to go this summer and play and, and have fun. Uh, otherwise, if anybody has any questions about uh, what was in the budget or what we're doing, please give me a call or come and see me. My door is always open and I do return my phone calls. Otherwise, I hope you have a great summer and I'll probably see you in a couple of months. Uh, thank you.